Weight Watcher journey. I am so happy you're here today. It is a gorgeous day, and today is all about recipe collab. Now, last month was the first time I, I did a collab, and it was so fun, and so I'm so excited to be coming back this month and bringing you another collab. Um, and if you've never seen a, a recipe collab video before, it's awesome because not only do you get my recipe, but you're gonna get about eight to 10 other recipes, and each month is a different theme. Now this month is healthy, quick and easy dinner recipes. So um, I'm gonna be showing you something, oh man, you can whip it together in 30 minutes. It's quick, easy and healthy, meets all the criteria. And it's brought to us today, our host for this collab is Danielle Nicole. And I will link her channel down below as well as everyone else that's doing the collab. So you can go and watch their videos and also um, get those recipes to put in your recipe um, file, uh, book, whatever you use. So whenever you're needing something quick and easy and healthy to pull together for your family, you'll have some extra recipes. Because we all kind of struggle sometimes about, you know, what are we gonna make? It's the same old, same old, you know, what am I gonna, where am I gonna look for my recipes? But these collabs will give you eight to 10 to choose from. So make sure that you watch all the other videos, show them some YouTube love, and get some amazing recipes. Now, my recipe today is something that, I mean, I learned how to make it about 28 years ago, 29 years ago when I met Sean and his mom was kind of showing me some things that he likes to eat and, and how to cook them. I'd never made it before. And it is just simply goulash. It is our version, the Murray version of goulash. I think there's a ton of versions out there, but this could not be simpler. It just has a few ingredients. Don't worry about trying to write the recipe down as I'm going because I'm going to link it all in the description box for you. And I'm using my Instapot, but this originally I cooked on the stove, um, all in one pot. So it's super simple on the stove or on, on the Instapot, but it's super quick in the Instapot. I think 30 minutes top to bottom <laughs> for when you're ready to eat at that point. So I'm going to Turn you down and we will get started. All right, guys, I don't know what happened. I'm just chit-chatting away with you guys and no film is going. Oh my word. So, all right, as I said earlier, we needed ground beef or turkey or chicken and our onion. Okay, so I have already put those in the Instapot. They are already browning because that is the part that did not film. Oh my goodness gracious, I don't know what's happened there, but I'm glad I looked up. Okay, so they are ready to go um, for our next steps. Now, I did add my seasoning um, just as it was almost through um, browning. So, I can get that in there. All right, I did add pepper. I said I wasn't gonna add pepper, but I did add pepper. So, my nature seasoning, my onion, and my garlic, and my pepper is in there. All right, and it is almost ready for me to add the last few ingredients. Literally, I think the longest time is the browning and probably the dropping the onions. Everything else goes um, pretty, pretty quickly. All right, let me see if I can show you what we're looking like here. Let's see if it'll come down and show you. Let's see. Um, we're all nice and browned, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is add our last few ingredients. Bring it back up. Now, this is the magic part. This is the part where it's so quick, you, you only mess up one pan, right? Look, here we go back down here. Okay, six ounces of whole wheat elbows. Guess what, guys? Cancel the saute. All right. This goes right in the Instapot, right on top of that ground beef. Okay. Now, the next part is, it is important. The next part I'm going to tell you, so do pay attention to that. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to, we've added the elbows to the Instapot. We're going to add right on top of that, both cans of our diced tomatoes. All right. Now, this is the um, part that is important. Do not stir it at this point. We do not want any tomato product on the bottom of the Instapod because it will stick. All right, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add probably a can and a half of water. I'm gonna add a, a can and a half of water to the top. Just, I wanna make sure that all of my noodles are covered 
and it may only take one can. Um, as long as I'm not stirring, I just wanna make sure that these noodles are covered, and they are. Because I don't want the goulash too soupy. I want it to be a little bit thick. I know sometimes um, sometimes we make it as a soup. I might add maybe a little bit of water, just a little bit, a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Now, all right, now here we go. I'm gonna show what we're gonna do. All right, guys, I don't know what happened. I mean, it's almost like the recipe collab gods don't want me to film this video. My goodness, I looked up again and it was not filming. Okay, we gotta get the lid on. Let me show you that. Okay, let me bring you down. All right, so we're gonna put the lid on. And we're gonna set up our, all of our settings. Okay, lid is on. You hear that little noise? That means the lid is on properly. Okay, so now I want it on pressure cook and I'm just gonna do a custom setting. Um, so I'm gonna hit custom. I want it on low pressure and I want it for 15 minutes. I, don't, I want it to cook slow. I don't wanna take a chance on it burning on the bottom so I don't want it to get too hot. And I've got the um, keep warm setting on, and now it is ready to go. So I'm going to hit start. We're going. That's it. Okay. And what I love about this, um, this one in particular, is it is much safer even than my other one was because the steam valve is covered by an extra covering, and there's no chance that I can burn myself. And this lid is not coming off until all that steam is released. So they are really, really, really safe, I promise you. And if you just get a small one to try it, you can get them at Walmart. You can get them on, on Amazon, um, Kohl's. All these places have the Instapots now. So and there's a lot of different brands. Mine just happens to be the Instapot brand. So this is gonna cook for 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna bring you back and I'm gonna show you the last step and we will do a little taste testing of it. And by that time, maybe I'll have the points worked out for you and the number of servings. So hang tight and maybe we won't have any more crazy videoing issues. My goodness, I've never had this much trouble. So hang tight, we'll be right back. All right guys, it's finished. I have sprinkled my cheese on top because I wanted it to melt so you could see that how, how good it looks when it's melted and before we stir it in and have a taste test. I did figure out the WW points for five servings. It's eight points a serving. That's about a cup and a half, maybe slightly more, depending on how, how puffed up the noodles got. And on Healthy Better Balance, it is six bites. So I'm not sure it's the same exact ingredients. It's just the algorithm between the Weight Watchers app and the Healthy app because they're not, um, the Better Balance is not exactly like our current Weight Watchers program. So a little bit of a discrepancy there as far as bites and points. Most days everything is, is pretty much lines up, but there are some things that are a few more or a few less um, bites than they are points. So anyway, let me bring you down and show you what this looks like. Yum. Okay, I'm gonna give it a stir. And then I'm actually, I'm gonna taste a little bit of it, but actually where the magic is gonna happen and where the wonderful flavor is gonna happen is when I let this sit all day long and um, kind of come together. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a little taste for y'all. Right, look. Look at that, oh, it's so yummy, it's so yummy. This, I'm gonna tell y'all what, this has been the hardest video for me to film. It's been crazy, stopping, starting, stopping, starting. So I hope by the time y'all see the finished product, it's gonna be a video y'all will enjoy and wanna watch again. Goodness, it's been rough. All right, you never know what you're gonna get in this house. It could be something crazy happening with the video. It could be the dogs barking, food flying everywhere. You just don't ever know. I am just a regular, every girl, everyday girl, home cook, just trying to keep it between the lines with Weight Watchers. I mean, <laughs> I, there is nothing special going on over here, and it is a little crazy sometimes, and a hot mess. I feel like my friend Jen over at Embracing Chaos, I feel like somewhere in my title I need to have chaos, because I feel like that's what's happening over here a lot of days. All right, let's give it a taste. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, the creaminess of that Velveeta is heavenly. Heavenly! Okay, so I hope that you guys in the end will enjoy this video. It's been fun. It's been trying, but it's been fun. And these collabs are amazing. I mean, it is really a way, like I said, for you to get eight to 10, sometimes more recipes just by going down to the description box and following the links. And I wanna thank Danielle Nicole again for hosting this month's collab, Healthy, Quick, Easy Dinner Recipes. Um, 
I'm super excited because some of the recipes that I've been seeing um, that are going to be that are going to be videoed are going to be amazing, and I'm definitely going to add them to my recipe book that I keep. So I'll have some um, just new and different recipes to try because you know we just get tired of the same same sometimes. So anyway, please like and share and comment below. Even even how crazy it was, I don't care. Just comment below. Tell me what are your um, favorite easy and quick dinner recipes, and um, definitely. Um, subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified when I upload um, an easy recipe, a video collab, grocery hauls. I do a lot of those. I've recently added um, kind of like a little car chit chat um, so I can tell you all about my way in and um, we just have a lot of fun over here. It's, it's nothing fancy over here. It is a hot mess sometimes, but I sure do love you guys and I love the support I've gotten and I love doing these videos for you. So, Again, make sure you follow all of those links, show those channels some um, YouTube love for their recipe collab this month, and I will see you really, really soon on the next video. I hope y'all have an amazing rest of your day.